Hello everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a technical solutions professional at AP Elements. AP Elements offers one of the best migration solutions out there on the market, Fly. As you can see from this product homepage, Fly can migrate from all these sources into Office 365. This video walks you through the process of performing tenant to tenant migration with Fly, where your source and destination are both SharePoint Online or OneDrive for business. The first step is to establish connection to both your source and destination. On the left navigation pane, go to Connection Manager under Management. On the SharePoint tab, click Scan. From here, you can connect to both your source and destination, and the process is the same for both. Enter the email address and password of an Office 365 admin account with the appropriate permissions. You can find the requested permissions here. After you supply the requested credentials, click Scan. All of your source or destination site collections and OneDrive for business accounts will be displayed here. Check the boxes next to the site collections to wish to add a source or destination and click Add. Once this page is closed, you can verify if your connection has been successfully established by reviewing all the connections displayed here. You can then proceed to performing a pre-migration scan to inventory your source, see what you have there, what content to migrate, and if there's anything you'd like to leave behind. To do this, click pre-migration report on the left navigation pane, and make sure SharePoint is selected from the scope dropdown. Click what scope do you want to analyze to create a new scan. On the SharePoint tab, Click Create. Give your scan job a name and check the boxes next to the SharePoint site collections or OneDrive for business accounts you'd like to scan. Click Save to manually run the scan later or Save and Analyze now to run the job immediately. Once the scan is finished, you'll be able to see an inventory of your source from the pre-migration report landing page. For more information, click Export Detailed Report to view everything in an Excel worksheet. Now comes to the actual migration. On the left navigation pane, choose SharePoint Migration and make sure SharePoint is selected from the Source Type dropdown. All source and destination site collections will be displayed here in a drag and drop interface. You can expand both source and destination site collections all the way down to folder level. To perform a migration, expand both your source and destination to the desired level, then simply drag your source over and drop it on the destination location. This is called a mapping. Alternatively, if you'd like to create a new container of the same name as the source, drag your source to drag here if destination does not exist. Repeat this process by dragging and dropping source content to your desired destination locations until you finish all your mappings. If you have a complicated source environment in which the content you wish to migrate is all over the place and is a hassle to navigate everywhere to drag and drop, you can instead use the import mode. From here, download a template CSV file, fill in the mapping according to the example, then import it back into Fly to continue. The next steps are the same for both drag and drop and import mode. Once all mappings have been created, click Continue to fine-tune your migration plan. Fly has a default 
built-in migration policy, which you can view here. Or you can opt to create a new one. Give your policy a name. Configure conflict resolution at container and content level. And optionally create a series of mappings as needed. For everything you create, there are examples of what information you should fill in and in which format. As you scroll down further, there are also advanced options regarding workflows, permissions, navigation, etc. Click Save to create your new policy and use it for migration. Next, choose a migration mode and configure a schedule. High-speed mode uses the Microsoft High-Speed API to bypass Office 365 throttling and is therefore the recommended mode. You can set a schedule for subsequent incremental jobs to run at your specified interval. And a cutover time. When you are done, click Save, and this job will run at the designated time. Click Migration Status to view details for all jobs. Expand the upper pane to view the number of jobs in different status and the data volume migrated from each source. Collapse the upper pane to see job information. You can see the migration source. and all mappings included in the job. Should you encounter any failures or exceptions, download job details and logs for troubleshooting. The job details provide a report of every object that has been included in your job and if they've been successfully migrated. After you fix whatever issue causing job disruption, simply click Rerun to start an incremental job which will bring over everything that failed in the previous one. Thank you for your time and enjoy your migration with Fly.